Okay, we've arrived at the dwarven home city of uh, Orzammar in the hopes of recruiting the dwarves to fight the war against the Darkspawn. Unfortunately, just like in every other location, it's not going to be quite so simple because the dwarves are caught in a near civil war right now because there are two individuals attempting to ascend to the throne and the committee which would decide which one got the throne is deadlocked, cannot make a decision. So the dwarves are caught up in potentially disastrous situation just like the people of Ferelden. Vieta, servicer. I'm bid to let you walk the commons, but keep your place. Warden or not, I want order. The blight is coming and I need Orzammar's assistance. Surface problems. Well, we have no king to hear you. You can join the shouting at the assembly in the Diamond Quarter if you want. Bunch of Desher lords bickering over sand. Balin, Aromont. Is one so different? No paragons here. Sounds like Balin and Haramont are the ones to talk to. They've caged themselves for fear of each other. As you've seen, keeping order down among us working people is dodgy. No place for a proper lord. Balin speaks through his second, Vartag Gavorn, in the assembly. Lord Haramont speaks through Doolin Ferender from his estate. Geez, so many names. Can a city function like this? See, that's why I don't want you surfacers seeing our worst. You'll think that's all we are. The market is thin, but busy, and the tavern never closes. Bad blood is usually kept to the proving. Should toss Balin and Haramont in there. Sort this all out in a hurry. The proving? Personal battles for honor and ancestor. I don't expect a surfacer to understand. If you must be our warden, at least know us. Go to the Shaper of Memories in the Shaperit. The true bright spot in the Diamond Quarter. I should be going. Yes, you should. Douche. Okay, these people are pretty screwed up. But that does not look safe. That does not look safe at all. I'm sorry. Did you have an offering for the ancestors? Although... I can't imagine your ancestors reside in the stone. Why are you dwarves so ugly? Who are you? My name is Vilda, widow of Turok of the Smith Cast. I pray here every day for my son, Rock. I only wish I knew whether I should be asking for a safe return or for the ancestors to accept his soul. Is that Turok as in the dinosaur hunter? What happened then? It was five years ago. He was only a youngster. He joined a Deep Roads excursion, the only smith to go with the warriors to repair their arms. He was so proud, but he got separated somehow. When they came home, he wasn't with them. You want me to look for him? How? There is no way except to brave the Deep Roads yourself. I'm a great warden. That's what we do. Warden? So you could do it. Only wardens face the deep roads without a company packing them. Oh, thank you. The ancestors finally heed my prayers. Hmm. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. We could search the deep roads for decades with no sight of the boy. Please, find me as soon as you return. Heh, <laughs> that's absolutely true. The deep roads are intended to be such a large structure, underground tunnel labyrinth that you could wander around there your entire life and never see all of it. Drunken dwarves. What could be the harm in a few of those? Yes. There better be something everyone's Do not buy anything. Or touch anything. Or sit anywhere. Uh, care to elaborate why? Maybe it's because I can't actually command you to sit. That might be why I shouldn't do it. They're everywhere! I can't take it! Told him I don't understand why the Provings aren't open to everyone. I mean, it's how the ancestors show their favor. Lord Denik Helmi, honored Desher of the Orzammar Assembly, and terrible disappointment to my esteemed mother. 
who doesn't like me spending time in taverns. You understand what I'm saying, right? On the surface, there are no casts, and it works fine. Am I right, Warden? You know me. Word travels fast. You don't get far as the youngest and most outspoken member of the Assembly without keeping an ear to the stone. I heard there was a Grey Warden in town. No offense, but you kind of stand out. Your views on caste must be controversial in the Assembly. Very good. I guess someone already told you I was good for nothing, drinking my life away at Tapsters. Or did they leave off a greatest shame to ever fall upon the Assembly? I'm always like that one. You know, most smiths and tavern keeps would make decent dashes if we gave them a chance and a seat in the Assembly. Or Zamara so mired in tradition no one bothers asking if the casts are even necessary. So you get to vote in the next king. You get to vote on the next king. Oh, hold on. How does the caste system work, anyway? Badly. Oh, you're serious? Well, it's simple, I guess. The king and elected deshers of the assembly are at the top. Then it's the nobles. Then the warriors and all the craftsmen. At the bottom are servants. The castless and criminals are below even that. Your caste is determined by that of your same-sex parent. And that's where you stay your whole life. Whatever your skill. So, you get to vote on the next king. Me and 79 other fine, upstanding examples of how someone who's born into every privilege inevitably wants more. They're not fond of my views on equality. Who are you voting for? I doubt either candidate has been outside the Diamond Quarter in his life. But Lord Harrimont seems a bit more forgiving. Prince Balin's brilliant, I'll give him that, and subtle as sin. But I don't think anything in Orzammar matters more to him than winning. Then I should get going. As you wish. Okay, you're not going to be of any help. Let's move on. Let's move on. I trust Vala, stranger. You must be the Grey Warden we heard about. Welcome to Tapsters. I'm Cora, your hostess. How may I serve you? I'd like a drink. With 52 types of ale, 17 types of mead, and a dozen imported wines, we should be able to serve your needs. <laughs> what do you have? Oh, some mead. Oh, uh, you know what? Why don't I try winning everybody over? A round of your best brew for myself and the house. So, what'll it be, then? Shit, I got that one wrong. Let me try this again. A Grey Warden is always welcome in Tapsters. So Did you need something else, Warden? With 52 types of ale, 17 types of mead, and a dozen imported wines. Someone's feeling generous. A round of Valentus Red for everyone. This, my friend, is the paragon of ales. The best your money can buy. Enjoy. Heh. <laughs> One silver and twenty bronze. That's all it cost me. Of course, I don't see anybody else drinking, so I'm assuming I only got... I was the only one that got it. You look important. Nevin. For a stool to share a brew. Who are you? My name's Naveen. I fight with Prince Balin's expeditionary field unit. Yourself? I'm Bruce, Grey Warden. Figured as much. Good folks, wardens. I was in the deep roads when that one came by. What was his name? Duke Can Duncan? Uh, something like that. You knew Duncan? I met him. Sure. Good man. Solid. He knows what we go through in the deep roads. Not many do. Not even the ones who live this close. You have to be on the front lines. Who's your unit fighting? Darkspawn. Not much use in turning our weapons elsewhere while those vermin still live. You work for Baleen. I go where I'm sent, fight when I'm there, and leave politics where it belongs. I've never been in the Deep Roads. Every Grey Warden ends up there. That's where they send you when you're ready to leave this world. Go die in the dark, putting away as many vermin as you can. Getting more crowded these days, though. Lots of people interested all of a sudden. We go back tomorrow, and we're not the only ones. Who are you looking for? Balin ordered us in at first bell. 
They're splitting us into four teams to search for some of the lost tides. Looking for signs of Bronca, I guess. Seems to be who everyone's after. Who else is in the Deep Roads? Lord Harriman's got his own men there, all looking for signs of Bronca. Guess the city's getting to miss having a paragon. Everyone wants someone to put in charge. Who's Bronca? Bronca was a paragon, some kind of great smith or whatnot. But she went batty and let her whole house into the Deep Roads more than two years ago. No chance she could have survived. And a lot of good men are gonna die looking for her corpse. Excuse me. This brew is starting to taste awful bitter. Okay. What he was, the other one was talking about was how all Grey Wardens wind up in the Deep Roads is when a Grey Warden has been a Grey Warden for some period of time, somewhere between 10 and 30 years, they start to lose their mind. And um, before that has a chance, and before they become essentially like a corrupted dark spawn like creature, they travel to Orzrammar and go into the deep roads and just fight dark spawn until they're killed. I guess um, a Grey Warden that is killed before that point obviously wouldn't make it there, but any Grey Warden that survives eventually ends up in the deep roads. Maker's blessing on you, brother. I didn't think dwarves believed in the Maker. I'm Brother Burkle of the Red Cliff Chantry. Returned to my ancestors' land to spread the chant of light. Even in the very bowels of the earth, we hear no end of this chant. And that is something to rejoice in, good sister. I'm petitioning to open a chantry in Orzammar. Whose permission do you need to open a chantry? The Shaper it controls changes in Orzammar's structure and society. I need the Shaper of Memory's permission to open a prayer meeting. Well, good luck with that. Let me know how it turns out. I... Uh, never mind. The Shaper of Memories has refused me so far. I thought perhaps with another advocate... Well, if you have a change of heart, let me know. I don't want to get drawn in on all this crap. I don't even want to be involved in this power struggle. Me being here is just a means to an end. Oh, can't go through that door. <laughs> Aha! I smell a seedy underbelly. What's and all? Yes, indeed. This is the dust town, the crappy version of town where everything's falling apart and this is where like the lower class people live. Shit! Well, that got out of hand. Well, that sucked. I'm glad everyone else just enjoyed the show. Didn't even have anything to take off their corpses. How disappointing. Next time you throw your sword, throw your bodies upon my sword, have something for me to take. Who are you? You don't look like any guardsman I ever saw, and that's not much of a uniform. Yet, yeah, do I look like a friggin' dwarf? That sounds like a man with something to hide. To tell the truth, I was supposed to meet someone. A traveler like you. But it doesn't look like he made it through the gate. Any chance you're looking to make a little coin? You should know you're dealing with a Grey Warden. Oh, you looking for a chance to bring in some coin? Could be I have that opportunity. Especially for someone with a few connections above ground. I'd have to hear what you're asking. No offense, but your kings have some laws that don't make sense in a practical kind of world. Like about who gets to buy and sell Lyrian, the sacred gift the stone provides us to show her love. No law should regulate that. The laws are meant to keep mages away from the stuff, so there's always buyers in the Circle Tower. 
I got one man named Godwin. He's expecting a delivery of a stone's weight. You want an investment opportunity? Uh, I could see fit to, say, sell you that lyrium instead at the reasonable price of 50 sovereigns. You can keep it, or, since you can travel freely from here, sell it to Godwin, who you know is buying. And, uh, if you bring back his return order, I could pay you, uh, say, 20 sovereigns as a finder's fee. It must be dangerous if you're paying so much. More so for someone like you, I guess. Most dwarves born down here have a natural immunity. Other races, there are problems if they spend too long with the ore. The real issue is that Lyrium's valuable. It's only found down here, and human mages can't work without it. I don't have that kind of money. As long as you keep your eyes down and your mouth shut, we've got no further business. Yeah, I do not have 20 sovereigns to pay this bastard. So, moving on. Oh yeah, this place is so cheery. Going into some slum house. <laughs> hmm. Perhaps I could have a try at that. No, damn you. If Liliana were here, she could open it. I can't summon her because I can't access the party menu. Uh, maybe I'll try this later. Oh, there's a quest giver. Quest giver, where are you at? There you are. Spare a bit for the needy? Oh, I don't want to give you anything. For my child. Have you a coin to spare, my lord? It's for my son. He's sick. He hasn't any clean clothes to wear or anything to eat today. Neither have I. Why well, doesn't your son's father help you? A question I ask every day. He was eager enough for a daughter who would bring him into the mining cast. Since the boy was born, I've not seen Nose or Heal of the Lout. And me alone on the street, forbidden to return to my family unless I... But no, I can't bear to even think of it. What does your family want you to do? My son's father is castless, as is he. I used to be a miner, but my parents stripped my caste and refused to accept me back. Unless I agree to abandon the child in the deep roads and pretend I never bore him. Maybe you could reason with your family. Y you would do that? But why? Ah, oh, crap. I didn't want to agree to do that. <sighs> Don't look a gift warden in the mouth. Then I cannot offer enough gratitude. But I warn you, my father is a stiff-necked man. His name is Ordell, and he's usually at Tapster's in the evening. I do not think he will listen to you. But I will wait anxiously to see if you can do what you promise. I didn't want to do this crap. I might not. I'm getting out of here. This place sucks. <laughs> hmm. Looks like they sell stuff. Buggy, buggy. I need to go find somebody to ally with so I can get this show on the road. I don't really care at this point. Diamond Quarter. That's where the high class people live. Twenty minutes in, I have yet to betray anyone. It's a shame. The social strata quickly makes itself evident, no matter where one goes. Eh, yeah, that's true, I guess. I mean, even in, in Ferelden society, you have, like, say, the elves that are so low class that they're not allowed to live outside of, like, essentially ghettos. You have come at a difficult time. Orzammar is ailing for want of a king. Yeah, thank you for that. 
Ugh, I can't go in there. Just pay attention to the mini map. Ah, this is one of those places. How about I, uh, I lie with this guy? As you say. You know what? 20 minutes in, I better end the episode and do all this in the next one.